The Chicago Bears are signing defensive tackle Justin Jones to a two-year deal after some surprising news. And with that, welcome back guys to another episode of the German Bear Podcast, and today we have to talk about the newest signing of the Bears and the loss of Larry Ogunjobi. Ogunjobi, who was set up to sign a three-year $40.5 million deal, failed his physical test with the team and did not get signed by the Bears. And let's first take a look at the negatives with that move. Um, Larry Ogunjobi looked like the perfect addition to the Eberflus defense. Um, he's a great three tag and really provided, besides good run defense, great pass rush ability. He was just coming off of his best season in his whole career. But on the other side, there are also some positives with that move, definitely. Because first of all, there were injury concerns with him and those are confirmed now. So if his foot injury is still not recovered, it's probably a good thing that we didn't sign him. It's somewhat a similar situation with Ryan Pace and when he signed his first pick, uh, free agent with Pernell McPhee. He had some injury concerns. He still signed him and McPhee had injury issues all over his uh, Bears career. So uh, that's the first positive aspect. And second of all, I don't think it was an overpay, but you're saving some money and are now able to invest somewhere else. So the question now was, who will the Bears new three tag actually be? And Ryan Poles answered that question within a few minutes with Justin Jones. So let's take a deeper dive into who Justin Jones actually is and what he can bring to the Bears. And it will be especially interesting how he fits into the 4-3 system instead of a Larry Ogunjobi. Justin Jones is a 25-year-old 6'3", 309-pound defensive tackle and was drafted back in 2018 by the Chargers in the third round. So that now completes a third player that got signed the last couple of days that was from 2018 or from the 2018 draft. Aquanimus St. Brown was drafted in round six. Byron Pringle actually uh, was signed as an UDFA back in 2018. And now we got Justin Jones from that draft as well. He has four seasons of experience and really emerged as a valuable and underrated piece in the Chargers defense. Uh, he started off somewhat slow with zero starts and his rookie year had only half a sack, 17 tackles and one QB hit. But he really developed fast and started 12 games in the following year. Uh, his second season with 30 tackles, two TFLs, three QB hits and one forced fumble. In 2020, he even upped his game. Played again, or started again, 12 games, had 34 tackles, 5 TFLs, 3 QB hits, and 1 sack. And lastly, in 2021, last season, he had his actual best season yet with a lot of career highs. He recorded 37 tackles, 3 sacks, 5 TFLs, 5 QB hits, 1 pass deflection in 11 games started. So he's a guy that consistently developed since he got into the league, which is super exciting for me, and I can't wait how Travis Smith, the new uh, defensive line coach from Chicago, will actually work with him. The big issue with him is, though, that he always had some injuries since 2019. That's also the reason why he never started 16 games. Like, he would have easily started 16 games for the Chargers, but there were always some injuries that held him out of some games. But hopefully he will be healthy for the Bears, and as long as he doesn't suffer a season-ending injury or a long-term injury, I'm pretty optimistic with that. Justin Jones is primarily a run-stopping specialist and really excels at that, which is very much needed after the loss of Eddie Goldman and probably Akeem Hicks as well. But he can also provide some pass rush and show consistent development in that area, although he still isn't on the same level of a Larry Ogunjobi. I'm kind of disappointed that Ogunjobi won't be a bear, but I'm equally excited for Justin Jones to be here. He might not be the same player, but he will be a very solid 3 tack with great run defense, and in addition, he's still very young, like 25 is a good age to work with, he has still lots of room to grow, he probably will be pretty cheap, and this move definitely saved the Bears some money. So you get a good starter for your team, and now I'm really interested what Ryan Poles is about to do. With the additional money, a guy like Teron Armstead or Lyle Collins become a real possibility, so... I'm super excited what comes the next couple of days. Let's see what happens. I still think we need some wide receiver help. Like in the video before, I've mentioned Jarvis Landry as a name that I really like. 
Uh, he would be a great veteran pickup to get for the wide receivers. Offensive line is still a big need. I'm still looking for that second cornerback like a, few, a month ago now, I think. In my free agent video, I mentioned the name Steven Nelson, who played for uh, the Eagles last season. I think he's a really good cornerback who could stick next to Jalen Johnson if we don't get someone in the draft. And obviously, the free agency is before the draft, so you have to get some bodies. And I think Steven Nelson is also a name to uh, look out for, but... Yeah, guys, that wraps up the episode. I will keep you guys updated on all the moves that the Bears are making. Also, stay tuned for the mock draft 1.0. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. Check out Instagram for the latest news. And as always, guys, bear down.